Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Cypress course. And today I am very excited to see Cypress has released a new version which is version 3.3.1, a complete bug fix version of version 3.3.0 because 3.3.0 released like a couple of weeks before and there were a couple of bugs which was mentioned by the community and Cypress team heard that and they released this 3.3.1 version. So let's quickly see all the different changes in Cypress version 3.3.1 and also see what are the bug fixes that the team has made and the new feature they have introduced. So there are many bug fixes and few features introduced in this version as well and some of the notable features of version 3.3.0 instead of 3.3.1 are these support for have focus not have focus be focused and not be focused is a new assertion libraries which was introduced in 3.3.0 there were some bugs which was reported by the community and it's now fixed and it's kind of working right now which we'll be seeing in this video as well request that go through site.visit visit and site request are automatically retried under the hood when the request fails so this is more closely reflects the Chrome's default behavior on request, which is something the community reported in the bug and it is now fixed. So you can see that if their website fails for some reason, Cypress quickly throw the error without even waiting as if like a Chrome browser does. That's the default behavior of Chrome by itself. Cypress was just overriding that and now it's kind of fixed and we will see the demo for this particular stuff as well. And then site.visit visit and site request are now now supports a new option which is retry on status code failure. So you can also wait for a status code failure, for instance, like 500 or a 404 or something like that. You can wait for that and then you can report the test to fail. So you can do that as well. It's a kind of Boolean flag, but you can set that to true. The default behavior is false. And then the type now supports a special character sequence, something like an insert page up and page down I guess these are something uh, which is not there in many different tools and it is currently supported with Cypress which is really really welcoming and finally Cypress now automatically reads from your systems HTTP proxy HTTPS proxy a no proxy environment variables and proxies traffic according through Cypress based on these values which is also very very cool so you can also set some Cypress uh, proxies and all of those stuffs in Cypress version 3.3.0 and 3.3.1. And some more features which I personally like is something like this. You can see that you can download the Chromium from the Cypress runner, which is cool. And then you can also see the options, which is nothing but the site art visit or site art request options within your developer console something like this something like retry on status code failure to set to true you can see that the one which i set is also coming in here and also you can see the proxy settings within the settings tab of the cypress runner which is also pretty cool so this proxy settings shows you that what are the proxy settings that you have made for your execution within the cypress.json file is going to be displayed within this particular window as well so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work so for that i'm going to open my item terminal all right so now i'm in my mac operating system and then i'm going to open the item terminal and as usual i'm going to go to the udemy uh, cypress and then i'm going to open the visual studio code all right so this is our uh, visual studio code this is the code that we saw in our previous video so which is cool and now within our uh, let's say for seeing how the uh, have focused and how not focused assertion works i'm actually going to show you that as you know that this is the version 3.1.0 so if you go to the package.json file the cypress is in very very older version which is cypress 3.1.5 but 3.3.1 has been released uh, yesterday so we need to see that as well so in order for that to be done uh, I can quickly show you how the older versions actually are. In our previous video, we saw that the Chrome version was not supported, the latest version, which is 74. And also, Electron Browser was 58, so which was uh, not something updated as well. And similarly, all the different problems that we had is currently uh, being addressed within this particular version. So I can quickly show you the older version problems and uh, how it is being fixed in the newer version so you can see this is the uh, older version of uh, 
Cypress. So you can see there is an update available here. I can do the update from here as well. The Electron version is 59, which is nagging, and the Chrome 74. And also if you go to the settings, you can see there is nothing called as proxy settings in this particular version, right? So we'll quickly see all these things uh, in our uh, video by upgrading uh, the Cypress latest version. So I'm just gonna do an npm Cypress update. So this is gonna update my Cypress to the latest version in this particular project. I'm gonna hit, oops, npm update Cypress. It's not npx, uh, npm Cypress update. So I'm gonna, there you go. You can see that it is getting the uh, latest version right now. And 3.3.1 is installed and you can see that the version number has been changed here. Pretty cool. And now if I try to run the npx cypress open, you can see all the different changes that we discussed. So you can see this particular window has been updated as well. And you can see Electron is now 61, which is pretty cool. You can see it's currently uh, running, which is awesome. So now I'm just gonna uh, also select this particular settings. You can see there is a proxy setting, which is a new setting which was not there before. It has come here as well. Right, and then if I go to the help, you can see that we have this download Chromium option. So you can choose that, and you can see there is a, a new window being opened here in the browser, and you can see the different kinds of builds available that you can download and you can try out as well. Right, so these are the things which is uh, new to this particular uh, Cypress runner, guys. So I'm just gonna close this one, and now I'm gonna ea app dot spec here right and then within this particular ea app we can quickly see what are things that we can do so for instance if i want to uh, wait for this particular uh, text box to get focused or something like that so let me go to this particular uh, login which is there within our command.js here right and within this particular command you can see that we type the site.get type of this particular username and then the password so what if i want to uh, before typing the username, I want to also verify that whether this particular uh, text box has got focused. So for doing that, I can just do hash username. So we did not have this particular assertion before, and now we have it. Should, then we can just do have dot focus. So if it is focused, then you try to type this particular value, right? So I'm just going to save this guy right now and the test which i want to run is this ea app.spec so so ea app.spec.js i'm just going to open that let me close and let's see what's going to happen oops ah yeah so this is a problem as well so there is a new problem will happen with the halloween theme you can see it became white instead of the uh, black color the reason is because the Halloween theme is currently not supported with our uh, new version of uh, Cypress. So we need to probably uh, remove that guy from uh, from the plugin that we have used. So if I go to the index.js here, uh, we need to remove this guy. Sadly, this particular Halloween theme is, has to be updated, which is not. Uh, and that's the reason it is actually failing. All right, cool. So we're getting this particular error, which is uh, something we know already because we have removed the base URL in our previous video. So I'm gonna go back to my cypress.json. And if you remember, we removed this particular base URL from here. So it's gonna be base URL, uh, which is gonna be the eaapp.swami.com. Uh, Come on, and I'm gonna save this guy, right? So now if I uh, go back to my Cypress here, and then if we go to the eaapp.spec.js, you can see it's gonna launch the app. It's eaapp.swami.com. And then you can see that it's performing the operation. And you can see that it is ju just performing an assertion here and it's expecting it to be focused. So the thing is like, it is not focused and that's the reason the test has got failed, right? So now if I just, it's waiting, if I, put a focus and you can see that it is currently running. So meaning the assertion of have focused is actually working in here, right? And also the good thing about the visit this time is if I go to the visit, you can see that it shows me the uh, 
the resolved URLs and stuff, but it also shows you if you use any options here, and then it will show you that option as well. So I can quickly show you the option of the visit that we saw in our slide. So for doing that, I need to replicate the particular problem of uh, shutting down our application and see what's really happening. So for doing that, I'm actually gonna go to my eaapp.sami.com and I'm gonna shut the uh, website down for a few minutes. Uh, so let me stop the website. So I'm doing in my other uh, window. And now if you try to access the eaapp.sami.com within your browser, you can see that you're gonna get this particular error, uh, HTTP uh, 403 forbidden. So I have turned off the eaapp.sami.com uh, globally, uh, so you can't even access that. So now I'm just gonna save this guy, right? And now if I see what's really happening, you can see it's pretty quick, like within 24 seconds, uh, the test has got failed. Less than, 20, uh, less than one second, I guess. The test has got failed, right? which was pretty fast because of this 403 error. So in order to overcome this particular problem, the team has introduced a new way of uh, failing uh, the particular application, which is available within the site out visit. So if I just put a comma, and if I just open a parenthesis here, you can see there is something called as retry on network failure or retry on status code failure so you can choose any one of them if you want so as of now let's say if i want to choose the status code failure i'm going to set this to true so the default behavior is false so i'm setting this to true and now you can see that it is currently waiting for the timeout period not like 0.24 second rather it, it has waited for like six seconds before it says that it has got failed right so this was not the behavior before and with this particular flag uh, the property it is currently supported. So I'm just gonna turn on our website. Uh, it's currently been shut down by me. Uh, it has been restored. And now if I try to run that, you can see that the site actually is up and running. So let's see what's gonna happen. You can see it has got some responses. That's why it is still waiting for the app to be loaded. There you go, uh, which is pretty cool. And the test is running without any problem. Amazing. So this is another option which is available, uh, which was introduced in Cypress 3.3.1. Or and the final thing is uh, within the console, if I just go to the uh, visit here, you can see that we now have an option. So this option shows you like what are the options that you used within this visit, though the option is like retry on status code failure. This is also being shown within your uh, developer console, which is amazing. So these are the new things which was introduced uh, by Cypress 3.3.1. And I kind of like all these feature and some of the new feature like proxying are all very, very useful. I cannot show you the demo of proxying within my machine, but if you are working in your office computers and if you are behind a firewall or a, and if you want to use a proxy to run your test, you can use the proxy settings which was introduced by Cypress, which is pretty cool and awesome. So you can try that out as well. So once again, thank you very much for watching this all new features of Cypress 3.3.1. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and thanks for buying the course. Have a great day.